Liberty Coalition in the House that consists of, you know, about 20 or 30 people, 20 or 30 members in the House. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a long way from one. You and know, we could double so that in an election. We could, you know, in this primary, that is actually, to me, mo the most exciting facet of this whole thing right now is that we could see Republican rhino incumbents, the John Boehners in the Republican Party, the Paul Ryans in the Republican Party, they may not make it out of their primaries. I'm really looking forward to that because you can see if you add up, if you add up Donald Trump, Ted Cruz, Rand Paul, Fiorina, perceived outside candidates, mm -hmm. we know they're not all outsiders, but if you add up all these perceived outside candidates, Ben Carson, et cetera, that right now, if you add up those polls, anybody can do it all day long, 70%. Right. 70% of the Republican wow. voters are ready to do for, They're a, ready for a real they're, change. They're ready Stay for right there. Change. We got to go yep. to break real quick. And when we come back, you were telling me some other stuff, some news that if Donald Trump does win the nomination, the massive dirty tricks that are going to befall poor Hillary uh, in, in order to do an end around to try to get rid of Trump in the general election. So stay tuned. We're going to be right back. We've got some, uh, this is just an amazing interview going over all this information. It may seem kind of boring, this delegate process, but if you get involved, it really is fascinating to see how the gears of our government works and how you can participate out there. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after this break. Brain force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused, less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosylcobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Welcome back to the final segment of the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Rob Dew. Sitting next to me is Richard Reeves. He is our, I guess you could say, our political operative of the bunch. He's been involved in the political process since uh, 2008, even before that, when Ross Perot was running. And we saw what happened when Ross Perot ran. Everybody liked his ideas, but he didn't quite, by getting out of the race and getting back in, he lost that momentum, which led to a Bill Clinton election in eight years of Bill Clinton. We could even see the same thing if they're able to uh, get Trump out of the nomination process for the Republican Party. He runs independent, and there's just not enough support there for people wanting to jump ship out of the Democrat or Rhino uh, you know, two-party system. And so we get a Hillary Clinton or a Jeb Bush. I mean, either way, we're going to lose with that. But getting back, you, you were talking about the splitter strategy, how they've saturated the field, but they didn't count on Trump coming in, right? That's right. They didn't count on Trump. And to back up what you said a minute ago, talking yeah. about Ross Perot, this is very important. This is very key. This is why third-party efforts are a negative thing. The Democrat and Republican parties, with the help of the NWO and all their money and their financiers, has totally rigged the electorate system, okay? It's why a third party has almost zero chance, almost zero chance. The Democrat party, Republican party, they have worked together and conspired at every state 
to make it almost impossible to even access the ballot. So getting on a third party race and another thing. And then you can't if, even get in the debates if you get on the You the can't ballots. even get in the debates. Yeah. And even worse than that, right now, if for some reason Donald Trump had to dump, jump ship and run independent, it would be kind of a disaster for us because as I was talking about earlier, we're looking at potentially flushing a lot of these rhino incumbents down the tubes. Well, if all of a sudden those people that were going to vote in the primaries for Donald Trump abandon ship and go third party, then all of a sudden we get the same rhinos, the same entrenched establishment Republicans, the same entrenched establishment Democrats. Talk about a disaster. Right. That is, that, that's New World Order. And I mean, dream. face it, I, you know, the presidency is basically a figurehead position. I, even if Trump gets in, I don't think he'll really do much other than disrupt the agenda that's already been programmed right. in. So it would be good to see that. But, you know, getting into that process, the delegate process is not sexy. It, it takes you getting up off your couch. It takes you actually getting into the game, getting into the arena, not just bitching about things online or on Twitter. You know, you have to actually get up and go physically to some place to be counted. But by doing that, you can disrupt the system. Absolutely. Just by showing up, we can disrupt the system because a tireless minority can win. We've heard that with over a cell phone and over camera. And so if you see something going right. wrong, you can tape it and get it on YouTube. And, and you know what? That. In this cycle, it may not even be necessary. Yeah, great. Bring your cell phone camera, bring your smartphone camera. But it may not be necessary because we have the numbers, folks. I've been a political watcher and operative back since even 92, before 92. I knew about the New World Order back in the 90s, late 80s. So us just showing up. Folks, we've never had such a huge opportunity. We have the numbers and showing up. And what you need to do is in each state is different. When it comes to the delegate process, each state is different. The convention process is different in each state. For example, one uh, potential disaster we might have already had in this is December 10th. December 10th, just two or three days ago, was the last day for potential delegates in Tennessee to file their necessary paperwork to even have a chance of being a delegate. So bottom line is, wherever you are, whether you're in Alaska, Florida, the uh, U.S. territories, etc. Actually, et cetera, December 10th today. So you could Well, there <laughs> you go. Today. So, so today, December yeah. 10th. So what folks need to do is to... Find out get the on, rules. Go, yeah, go on the internet and search the rules for your state. And by all means, get registered to vote. Vote in your primary. Attend your caucus. And if it's a primary election, go to your precinct convention. So the keyword, Republican rules. delegate rules and then the state you live in. The state you and live then, in. And then from there, follow the rules. That, and that's the thing. They make all these rules to keep people out of the system. Because regular people really just want to go along with their lives and you know hope things are going to get better. But you really have to get involved like these you know, entrenched Democratic operatives and these rhinos are. You have to get into that. You just have to show up. That's really all it takes. That's is showing it. up and going, hey, I'm not for whatever you guys are for. Right. Well, this is like Ted Nugent says, we have met the enemy and the enemy is us staring us in the mirror. Apathy. Our own apathy is the reason that we are in danger and on the precipice of losing our country, folks. So we've got to give up on the apathy and just get up off the sofa. And like Joe Big says, put down your Cheetos and just get active. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's exactly it. So what are the other ways that they're doing this aside from, you know, stacking the deck against uh, specific candidates or, you know, even infiltrating the, the process? What other dirty tricks are they going to try to pull on the, in this Republican primary season? Well, it's like I texted Roger Stone this morning. I said, Roger, I believe that the GOP establishment, NWO party, they're not only going to violate and break rules, they're going to break laws and they're going to break heads, I think. Very possible. So we need to be prepared for that. And, you know, thankfully, the take back of our republic, of our government, has been peaceful. We haven't had to suffer blood, bayonets, and bullets yet. But hopefully it never gets to that. And we don't that. want it to get to that. And exactly. we don't want it to get to that. That's why we have to take advantage of this process. That it's a perfect opening. We get to the headwaters of the election process. This is not just about the presidential election. As we stated earlier, this is about everything from ultimately ends up er being everything from dog catcher to the president. All these races are impacted by what goes on in this process. There you go. And by, I think, participating in the delegate process, it's going to get more people interested in local politics and their state politics. That's where you're going to see the real power and be able to really make changes. And so we can stand up to the, na the national government, right? Like right now, they have a, a bill uh, in the national, in the, in the Congress to make everybody uh, get vaccines, a, a childhood national vaccination program to get rid of the philosophical exemptions, to get rid of the, uh, just the, the personal belief exemptions, religious exemptions, everything. Just get rid of it and say, everybody has to take it no matter what your state says. This is going to try to circumvent state law. 
So we have to have strong states, strong communities, so we can stand up to the, this you know, giant behemoth, this federal government, when they come after us. What we know is the NWO attacks us from every possible angle. We get attacked by a 360 degree angle every way. And you know, you were asking about dirty tricks a minute ago and mentioned dirty tricks. In 2012, I went to the Texas State Convention. Talk about a dirty trick. They said, okay, Ron Paul's gonna speak on the Friday of our Texas State Convention. Everybody, hooray, yay, yay, Ron Paul's gonna speak. Okay, and so I, I was on the Bilderberg tour with Alex, we came back in town, I got to the convention a day late, just in time to hear Ron Paul speaking at the convention. But then later on, I found out the dirty trick of that, folks, the dirty trick was, is that during the time that Ron Paul was speaking to that convention and had most of Ron Paul people there to listen, they had senatorial district caucuses where they elected all the members to the state Republican Party. They elect all the yes men, essentially, they, to come they, in and just go, they, Romney, they, Romney, we're Romney. Not, we weren't even there, folks. We, weren't, yeah. we didn't show up. So that's the kind of dirty tricks that we have to watch out for. What we have to understand, you know how Obama talked about ISIS being the JV team or whatever? Well, you know what? In 2008, 2012, the Patriots, Liberty Seekers were the JV team. And right now, we need to graduate from JV team to professional political team. So folks everywhere need to be wising up and reading up about how all of this works from stem to stern. I totally agree. And there's, there's no better time than now to get involved. I mean, Trump really has, if nothing else, he's galvanized a lot of people, gotten a, energized, I think, a lot of people as well, just by getting up and saying, hey, we got to do something about the border. We got to do something about people coming in and not vetting them properly. We got to, you know, I don't really like the things where he says we're going to start waterboarding people and, and taking uh, rights away and not letting people speak. And we got to uh, look at the Internet more. They've done all that. It doesn't work. That's right. You know, we gave the NSA carte blanche for years since 9-11 and they still haven't stopped the terror plot. They haven't done a thing. And then remember, as long as we get good people in the House, good people in the Senate, hey, we can relax on, OK, if we get a bad president, we can still overcome. Right. And earlier, as we were signing off on the first break. We were talking about how we've got potential bombshell inside information. That's right. Yeah. So, so if, if Trump is, does win the nomination, what are they going to pull? If it looks like Trump is going to win the nomination, folks, then the scuttle butt is the inside track rumor uh, from sources that we have are that Barack Obama will either indict and or arrest Hillary Clinton right around the time of the Democrat, Democratic National Convention, right about the time of the DNC. And that what they will do is they will trot in Joe Biden, God. who is no better than Hillary. We all know that. But they somehow, the powers of be seem, seem to think that Joe Biden could potentially beat Donald Trump. And Joe Biden will have unlimited funds, just as Hillary would as a nominee. So watch for that. Literally the yank surprise. the lesbian witch out with a hook and install creepy Uncle Joe. That's I right. mean, and, and you look at any of those people. I mean, just totally worthless as, as humans have no care at all for this country at all. Just want to drive us into the ground, uh, spit us out, use us, our energy, just pull everything against us. We got to do something. So get involved in your political process out there. There's no better time than now. Find out what the rules are, because by the time these elections start up, it may be too late to get involved. Absolutely. So with that, um, that we're signing off. Uh, get this information out to people you know. We're going to put links here for some information for you to check out. Thanks for watching the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Rob Dew. Stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Central. And uh, that's all we got. Thanks Thank you for joining us, Richard. Thank you. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced.
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. The InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.